what was then the D-League. And uh, he's back here in Des Moines as he's the head coach for the Herd this year. And the back tap into the hands of the Herd. It'll be Duvall with it into the front court. And we're underway here at Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines. Three ball from the right wing right out of the gates for Xavier Munford. And he knocks that down. Moore looks to drive it. Backdoor cut for Goodwin. Up top, it's Canyon Berry. His three is on the way and good. Good ball movement. Didn't get stuck in the hands that time from the guard. See C.J. Williams back for the final home game. He had some NBA minutes this past week as Marquise Moore finishes with some English off the glass. Didn't waste any time. Just took it coast to coast. 5-3 and a turnover. Sloppy play there over to Warwick, and he flushes it through with one hand. J. Williams, who's back now with the team, wasn't here for that one. Really showed me and I think Coach Roth and yourself and everybody here a lot. Two rebounds short of a triple-double yeah. in that game. There's Akeem Warwick. Fades from 12 feet away. Got it to go. He's got a pretty shot for a big man. Just lay up on the other end for the herd. And oh, nice. An outlet pass for Canyon Berry, and he goes up and lays it in off the glass. Goodwin very alert that time. Great play. A quick timeout called. Duvall attacking into the paint. Kicks it back. Qualls this time a right-handed jumper, and that one goes down from three. And then Barry with it right wing. And has the ball poked away, and Duvall's going to have an easy layup the other end and make it a flush. Two-hand dunk for Duvall. It's an 11-8 lead here for the Wolves. 8.30 to play here in the first. Marquise Moore into the lane. Had it poked away, got it back. Nice. Right over to Akeem Warwick. Off the glass and in for Akeem. Akeem did get fouled that time. No call, but he still stayed strong through it. Well, one of the strongest backcourt players in this league, no doubt. Which is why he consistently leads this team in rebounding. There's Warwick with his eighth point of the night. There for the rebound on the weak side. Warwick finds C.J. Williams. Good ball fake and then the left-hand finger roll. Four rebounds for Warwick. He gets the assist as well. And C.J. the beneficiary. They like Kansas City, don't they? Oh, Hilton South. They do it again. 12-point win down there at... Uh, down there in Kansas City for the Big 12 title, and the seed drastically improved this week. Here comes Qualls the other way. He'll stop and pop. Another three ball up and good. Boy, good rise up and knock down there by Qualls. His second three of the first quarter away from good Goodwin. Now Qualls will try another three left wing, and he's got his third. All nine points, three three-pointers. When that left his hand, that was well off the mark. Long outlet for Qualls, and he lays it up and in. He's got 11. Goodwin with a pass up top for Williams. CJ looks to drive it. CJ all the way to the rim and lays it in. Yeah, that time Qualls got a little lazy on the defense, and Williams got him on that left hip and just took off on him. Mumford down the right side into the front court for the herd. Crossover dribble now down the right side of the lane. Throws it up off the window and in. Nice tough shot. Probably was a little bit of a took a bump. hit there, but nothing called on that one. Circles back top of the key. Now Smotrich drives it. Left hand drive down the left side of the lane. It's up and good. Did the same thing. Hurd get a little lazy defensively. They're getting caught there. And then Iowa using the good hand to get to the rim. Rim protector Thompson got caught out on the perimeter. Smotrich, one of those guys that plays outside. There's a step back three knocked down. That was A.J. Hess who checked in for the hurt. He has struggled here from the field. One out of five now in the ball game. Qualls rises up and flushes one through. Good bounce pass. Yeah, Iowa got a little lazy on deep getting back quickly that time. 15 points, three rebounds for Qualls here in the opening quarter. Here's C.J. Williams bounces. Jalen Johnson shot up and good with the left hand. Finds Jalen Johnson top of the key. He'll hand to C.J. Williams. Williams looks to drive it. C.J. Little floater off the glass and in. That's how you get your shooting going. C.J. has... Six points, but he's kind of struggled there. Inside they go for McCoy. He's going to back down William Lee. A little jump hook in the lane is good. A little shooter's touch that time. Kind of laid up there off that left iron and found its way through. Jalen's going to go to work and loses his footing and the ball. And it's McCoy the other way. That was good help defense that caused that too. Quick three from the right wing is good. Robert Johnson, who had just checked in, a former Hoosier. Now Bell Haynes resets. Bell Haynes dribbles it off his knee, gets it back, floater, good. What well, a nice recovery there, and gets his first bucket of the ball game. Now it's William Lee giving it off for Johnson. Jalen will try the 19-footer, and it's good. Boy, they just left him open, kind of dared him to shoot it, and he knocks one down. As Bell Haynes knocks down a free throw. Here's Marquise Moore, and his shot swatted away. And that one, no... No goaltend. They kind of looked at the official, but that was a good block there by McCoy. 
There's Brandon Goodwin driving it along the baseline. Good bounce pass in for Jalen Johnson. Johnson on a little reverse layup gets it to go. Nice move. Both teams, 13 field goals in the first quarter, but a seven-point lead for the Herd. Down to five after that Johnson bucket. There's McCoy again, the seven-footer, causing some problems getting in deep in the post. Hess down the left side, gives it off for Bell Haynes. His left-hand layup is good, but they play on. Bell Haynes lobs it up for McCoy, and he's fouled and lays it up and in. Chance at a three-point play here for Brandon McCoy. Reminds me of that first quarter last game, Iowa kind of losing, not making their shot. Trailing 12, 43-31. Marquise Moore over to Williams. C.J. Nice catch on a contested pass, and then a floater in the lane falls for C.J. Williams. Colson spins, baseline shot up, no good, but McCoy with the rebound. His up-and-under move is good. Points eight and nine for Brandon McCoy off the bench. Tries to finish over Lee, but cannot. Quick outlet, here's Goodwin. Goodwin, oh. a little Euro step, but McCoy just volleyball spikes it out of bounds. Matched up with C.J. Williams. Now up top, it's Duvall. Duvall on a little step back three. Shot is up and good. Just feathered it through the net. Didn't need to get into the paint. No, he didn't. Teammates are red hot from three. Here's Marquise Moore on a pull up. Iowa needed that to shot, stop the bleeding here. Walls looks to go at Canyon Berry, and he turns it over. Great defense by Berry, and into the hands of Goodwin. Goodwin lobs it up for Warwick with a two-hand foot. Boy, that was a no-look. Only he knew where that ball was going. Warwick did, too. He was waiting for it. These guys still playing for a potential call-up. Yeah. There's C.J. Williams with it on that left block. Williams turns, little floater. Baby hook shot, got it to go. Now Marquise Moore. Back pass for C.J. Williams. He shoots the three. Got it. Heat check time for C.J. And the Iowa Wolves back to within five. Steady across the timeline. Inside they go to Thompson. Thompson puts it on the floor. Goes right at Warwick and finishes with the left hand. Goodwin. Pull back dribble. Now drives it back baseline. Reverse layup. Falls in. Tough shot. Boy, he just keeps coming at you. Here's Duvall. Right back at Goodwin. And... Duvall finishes. Got, took a little bump, but that was enough to give him a little space and little kissed it off the glass. Instagram, YouTube, and Snapchat at IA Wolves. Canyon Berry, three ball, good. Boy, he used that screen to perfection. Into the lane, back pass for C.J. Williams. He'll drive it, dish. Berry, right corner three, wide open, good. As soon as it left his hand, you could tell that was pure. 351, the herd lead it. Here's Goodwin on a three ball, hey. got it to go. And what do we got? That would happen to the road team, maybe not the home team. Eh. There's a runner in the lane and a nice shot there by Trayvon Duvall. Now puts it on the floor, drives it left side. Shot up no good. Warwick with the rebound. And Warwick stuffs it through in traffic. <laughs> Warwick had enough for Thompson. Here's Qualls on a quick three ball, knocks it down as Qualls wow. hit the deck. I mean, TJ having a chuckle after that three. CJ said, what more can I do? Here's Marquise Moore on a pull-up, knocks it in. But a 15-footer just outside the lane. Goodwin into the lane, hangs, shot no good, got his own rebound, count the bucket and a foul. Wow. He, in essence, he lobbed it to himself. And we got See the now. replay here, he lobbed it up, off the barely touched the front of the rim, he got his own rebound. Oh, Goodwin not able to make the free throw out of the timeout, so the lead stays three, 61-58. Mumford on a hard drive down the lane, finishes with the right hand. Yeah, that time got caught under the screen. Mumford looks inside. Now they do go inside for McCoy. McCoy has it along the baseline, spins, has it blocked by Warwick. Well, and it goes for Warwick. We're back underway. Goodwin will pop a three ball. Got it! Well, that'll end any worries about the shot clock. Goodwin to 14. You know, this team just hit a three to go back up five, so he's not going to be too irritated. But yeah. <laughs> That's been a point of emphasis to call the offensive player for that. Here's Marquise Moore on a pull-up. Got it to go. Boy, Start he's been, jumper now. been hitting that jumper the entire first half. 11 now for Marquise Moore. Duvall through the lane Pretty. gets the floater to Boy. go. That was a tough shot. 13 for Duvall. Marquise Moore looks to push it. Moore gets to the rim and lays it up and in. Just powered through both Munford and Duvall. Nine from the field. There's Barry giving it off for Warwick. Warwick at the rim. No on the first, but got it back and laid it up and in. Almost as though he passed it to himself off the backboard. It's Duvall. 
Looks to drive it, cut off there. So now a bounce pass in for Colson and a pretty oh turnaround by Bonzi Colson. His first two points of the game, and that was earned. He had Barry all by himself yeah, with I, no help. I don't understand not kicking it out there. Here's a lob up top and a nice flush through by Trevon Duvall. What a pass there by Qualls from the other side of midcourt right to where it needed to be. CJ being aggressive just hasn't been able to find a bucket here. Here's Thompson. Left hand shot off the window is good. Thompson out of six points in the ball game. Back pass for Barry Canyon. Step off. back, his shot way off the mark, but Marquise Moore, offensive rebound and just takes a power dribble and lays it in. Ran down by Siobhan Thompson. Nine on the shot clock. Munford will try a three and knocks one down. Into the corner, it's Moore. Skip pass, Barry nice over to C.J. Williams. Three up and good, great ball movement. Got the ball reversal all the way to the corner and C.J. standing there waiting to knock down the three. Now it's Goodwin around a ball screen. Pulls up, jump shot on the way, good. Boy, a little confusion defensively yeah. there. Here's Qualls. Tough pull up and Qualls knocks it down anyway. Goodwin standing dribble out front as he directs traffic. Now Goodwin on a drive all the way down the right side of the lane for the uncontested layup. Timeout. Rich got in the passing lane there. Bounce pass oh. up ahead, but stolen by Bell Haynes. Try to be a guard there. Yeah, he no. kind of telegraphed it. There's a lob up for the big man, McCoy, and he just rises up and drops it through with the right hand. Thank all the fans who have participated, came out to Iowa Wolves games, and have listened throughout the year here on Facebook Live, on ESPN Plus, or on 1460 KXNO here in Des Moines. Basketball, Mumford off the screen, pulls up, shot no good, but McCoy comes up with the loose ball and hammers it through. His sixth rebound turns into points number 12 and 13 there, and we've got a one-point ball game again. Especially here in the Midwest. Yeah. There's Bell Haynes trying to split the double team, drives at baseline, reverse layup up and good. Too quick for everybody who is trying to guard him. So both teams missing some pieces tonight well, with the eight on the shot clock they finally get it into colson and he'll fade and knock it down marquise wanted that one it would have given him 10. well he'll get 10 11 12 yet yeah. here's marquise moore off the window with the left hand and in wolves will reset moore matched up with mccoy the seven footer pulls up 16 footer is good marquise moore he's been fantastic boy his stock has risen there's Bell Haynes with the left hand. Got, got by Goodwin. No help at the rim. The Tates lobs it up for Johnson. Johnson takes a dribble. Double team. Now nice. spins. Front of the rim wow. gets it to fall. That's the second time he split that double team. That time he was able to finish. Thank you. That was pretty. 94-88. Here's Hess. Three-point shooter right wing. Got it. Yeah, you Boy, can he tell. is deadly. It's all of his makes are from three. Now Smotrich. Has it as he's going to back down oh, the defender. Nice. Great pass underneath. Johnson with a little reverse layup. Got it to go. Took his time to Bell Haynes. Bounce pass. And it goes for Thompson. And his little left-hand runner in the lane goes. Johnson couldn't have done much with that. It looked like he was shoved in the back there, but shot was no good. Johnson's pull-up jump shot for the herd no good, but Hess right there to tip it in. They leave Des Moines tonight. And there's a forced pass by Johnson, a turnover into the hands of Hess. Oh, and now wow. Johnson the other way, ties it up at 97 and a quick whistle and a timeout. Goodwin off a screen, three ball up and good. Boy, that was a tough Wrap shot. Wraparound three there, 22 now for Goodwin. He's been quiet since that opening stanza of the first quarter. Brandon Goodwin waits on a ball screen out front by Johnson. Now pulls up off the glass. I don't know if he called it. He's stolen away by Goodwin. As he and Bell Haynes went high for the ball. Now Bell Haynes on a drive, hits the floater. Oh, that's a good matchup, Bell Haynes. <laughs> They've been going at it. Oh, yes, they have. Looks to create, finds Marquise Moore. He checks the shot clock. Now pulls up, 16 footer is good at the shot clock buzzer. 20 points for Moore to go along with nine rebounds. He is, his improvement at that jump shot. Thompson finds Qualls now, right wing three, no good. Hess there again for the putback. A couple of offensive rebounds by Hess in his last two buckets. That's 13 for Hess. Iowa was in scramble mode after the double team out front. They were able to pass out of it and get an open look. Oh, and wow. there's Goodwin at the rim. No, but Jalen Johnson with a two-hand flush follow. Here's Hess, thought about a three. Instead, back pass for Thompson. His 
Long range wow. two is good, the seven footer. Now Qualls steps back, tries a three. That one off the mark. Boy, it looked like Thompson got away with a push, but gets the offensive rebound and gets it right back and flushes it through, and it's a one point game. Jalen Johnson dribbles it out to the right wing. Now Johnson gets to the rim with the left hand and lays it in. Quick dribble into the paint. Good defense by Iowa. Munford drives it. Marquise Moore right there, and it's just Mumford making a tough shot with the left hand off the window. Back, though, and he'll put it into the corner for Barry. Canyon finds C.J. Williams. Left corner three. Got it, C.J. Boyne getting a chance to watch a good ball game. C.J., four on the shot clock. Pulls up, three on the way. Got it, C.J. Williams. Wow. He just looked over at Coach Roth and said, I got it. I got it. 53 seconds to go. Two Little step back off to the side. Well, we've been around long enough. There's a lot of time left in this one. Could have been over and back there. Goodwin all the way to the rim, and he finishes. Overplay him and get beat. That's the quick man that Goodwin is. Kind of dink around the rim free throw. And there's Jalen Johnson with the offensive rebound and put back yeah. to give Iowa a 10-point lead. The bench performer tonight, definitely him. 18 points. Here's Munford all the way to the rim, lays it in. Iowa just got out of the way. This is Iowa's biggest lead almost. And nobody got that double-double but Mr. Qualls tonight. We got three guys sitting on nine rebounds, I think. There's a three ball by Hess. So back to a seven-point game. It was for Qualls. He'll drive it and flushes it through with two hands. He wanted to take the rim with him to Wisconsin. And that's going to do it. 22 and 13 for Qualls. Effort was there. Final whistle blows, and the Iowa Wolves have themselves a winning streak.